So I guess the first thing you need to know is that we are doing this for donation. Mom, Amy, and I have been kind of wrapping our heads around a way to give back to the local veteran community. This week, they're throwing an appreciation dinner for the island's military veterans. How many guests do we have? We're gonna only have, we're only gonna have 12. We really want to honor them with just a meal. It's a simple gesture you know, for their service. And we're gonna use those uh, Navy SEAL containers. This family-run business is led by Mom Sherry. Tell me what you need. Um, everything is just pretty much uh, short order, four courses. Her son, Bradley, is the Cordon Bleu trained chef. Are you frying anything? I'm not frying anything. Pretty minimal. We want to do it super simple. We need a scout tonight. Amy, Bradley's sister, his assistant, and the company's designer. I go find things from the beach or the woods. If I stumble upon it, I'm like, oh, that's a really cool dead kelp bulb. How could I use that? <laughs> the veterans' dinner will be at Island Lake, an area that can be battered with high winds. Yeah, look at your winds right there. You're at 29. Kodiak is a really, really interesting island. We have like microclimates. So you get in like situations like it's raining, your wood's not dry, you're like, yo, this 20 below sleeping bag is not gonna keep me alive. <laughs> when I tell people what we do, people are like, oh my God, that's so awesome. And like, and it is. What do you got for garnishes? My first course is going to be a salmon mousse. The entree, I'm thinking about a nice piece of simple salt and pepper seared just to perfection, white fish. Maybe do like a beurre blanc style sauce, but with blueberries. Celery puree, a little bit of cream, butter it out. I'm thinking about sea lovage, and that'd be a nice sauteed green in there. It deserves a simple blueberry bread pudding. Done, thank you. All right, let's just bang this out. Let's do this. As morning arrives, the group scrambles packing up for tonight's dinner. Let's make this quick, guys. A job that causes tensions to run high. Who's getting the truck? The logistics of getting everything there is a nightmare. Just how we pack our stuff, that's probably the most stressful. I want this to be clean. It is. Not, it's not it clean. Up. It is two. Do you have five round tables? No, he bounced one out of the back of the truck. What do you want for beverage containers? Glass. Let's just keep it simple, guys. OK. Don't forget the wine opener this time. Yes. <laughs> I'm just sitting here just watching you guys. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, just, 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 just mic micromanaging just me. You just see what you guys yeah. are doing. <laughs> well, you go check your fish. I'm always stepping on everybody's toes, sometimes just standing there doing nothing, being like, yep, yep, move that. It's so annoying. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, that's my sanitation station. No, man. Bradley likes to have the final say. And he likes to have the control. It looks like crap. Bradley, it's going to have my water on there in my dishes. Let's do another table like the tables we have so it looks all uniform. I have that too, right here. You just want your dish dishing to match your hair. I know it. Seriously, get a different table that's going to match everything. It does kind yeah, of It's lovely. But not right now, not today. We don't have room for this. I concur. We win. Toot, bye bye, toot. dirty red bro. <laughs> toot toot. <laughs> they gang up on me. I had a vision for that table, but they don't see that, so I'll let them win. All right, let's go. Ready to go? The dinner is at Island Lake on the heavily forested northeast side of Kodiak. I'm cold. I don't got time for comfy, all right? Two, two more seconds. You want to give us a hand real quick with this bad boy? Yes, yes. Oops. <sighs> I want to get cooking. Let's get this thing up, guys, seriously. We're ready to go up now. Oh, I hate this tent. Come Push on. your button, then. You're pushing my buttons, let me tell you. Bradley is a real challenge to work with. He'll tell you that things go real smooth, and they do not. <laughs> Oh, my lands, I burnt your nuts. You had more, right? No. Essentially, when I'm out there, I'm just creating
creating a mobile kitchen. It's not easy job. Why do you people bring me this? Working with my family. There's ups and downs. There's trials and tribulations. But I wouldn't give it up for anything. Maybe I'm empty. I don't think so. I'm having a little problem with this burner. Well, you can't leave them out. They can't get wet or they don't work. Mom, seriously, I don't have time for smart-ass comments. You don't know why, so you can't help me, so forget about it. Never mind. The last thing that anybody wants to hear when they're seriously about to freak out is, I told you so, especially when I got a razor-sharp busher knife in my hand. It was just working. It's T-minus one hour until the veterans arrive for dinner. I'm having a little problem with this burner. And Bradley's hit with a caterer's worst nightmare, equipment failure. Hey, Amy, can you go get that other burner in the back of the uh, truck, my truck, like, quick? Here you go. Oh, man, that's what I want right there. Yay, man. Looks like everything is working moments before service, and it's time to rock this stuff out. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Hi, guys. Hi, Come on in and have a seat. Beautiful, beautiful. Chop, chop. Guests are here. Guests are here? Perfect. We are ready to rock. This is our first course, salmon moose. Pure love, man. Pure love. Fireweed, these flowers are completely edible and sweet and tasty. It's at school, they've reached their limit. All it's right, cool. all right, all right. It's going, God. There's a little bit of olive oil. Just because olive oil is good, man. Oh, Bradley, look at you. It looks gorgeous. All right, ready? Let's go. Roger. Here you are, my kind sir. Thank you very Beautiful. much. Thank you. This is gorgeous looking. <laughs> hey, thank you. That's really good. I've never had a dog taste so good. <laughs> We're about halfway through first course. How long until you're bust? Five minutes. Okay. Roger that, five minutes. Go. Ever so lightly seasoning my ling cod with salt and pepper. We're ready to sear. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, man. Oh, man, that, that sounds good. That's that sound we want. I want it hot. Woo. The main thing is, is I don't want to overcrowd the pan, because then all the moisture will start seeping out of these, and then we'll essentially start stewing the fish. Stewing, not good. Searing, oh, yeah, man, real good. Let me get a quick look. Oh, man, we are money. Turning off. We have seared. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. A little bit of olive oil, a couple tabs of butter. Here's our sea lovage. Throwing these bad boys in the butter. Oh, it's crackling, man. It's crackling. Sea lovage is super unique in flavor. It has a nutty flavor, almost like a brown like ale. Get my celeriac pureed, all cheesed up and finished up. This right here is a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, man. Italy meets Alaska. Alaska meets Italy. What up? So uh, now I gotta just do my beurre blanc. Oh, butter sauces. <laughs> Woo! Boom! Yeah, dinner is ready. Man, that looks bomb. I know, doesn't it look good? They are green and purple, man. Ooh. All right, hold on. Let me get a little bit of, little bit of love. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I love how these taste just a little bit crunchy. 
He's really find a cool food now. Ah. Lincod just <laughs> melts in your mouth. Perfectly seared. It's a little crispy on the edges. You would say you're all like Lincod. Don't know yeah. what you're missing. Mm -hmm. We got more of this somewhere? Best outdoor meal ever. ever. <laughs> you guys all done already, or are you guys ready for dessert? Uh, oh, yeah. Dessert? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, we're plating the final course. Blueberry bread pudding. I'm using a little bit of powdered sugar for garnish. Pretty classic, maybe even cliche, but I'm doing it. Oh man, just trying to get crazy with it. This is blueberry bread pudding, and we forged the blueberries. This is delicious. Mm-hmm, very good. I don't think I've ever had bread pudding that's had the berries in it before. The blueberry flavor to it, just wonderful. I want to lick the plate. My compliments to the crew and chefs. Excellent Ew. meal. This is the part where I get happy because I already, I already heard him say, "You guys are first class." Are you guys as happy as I am? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. To have something like this set up means a lot. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart.